Israel, Jerusalem, and the Jewish people are all throughout Bible prophecy, past, present, and future. I'm going to cover that and show the proof of the prophecy in this video, as well as ending off with the proof of who the Messiah of Israel is. The first two prophecies that I'll touch on are prophecies written way before Israel was scattered from its land. This is in Leviticus 26, 33. I will scatter you among the nations and draw out a sword after you. Your lands shall be desolate and your cities waste. Many verses prophesy that Israel would be scattered across all the nations. And then in Isaiah 66, 22, it tells us that though they're scattered, they will not be forgotten and their name would not be blotted out. And that says, for as the new heavens and the new earth, which I will make shall remain before me, says the Lord, so shall your descendants and your name remain. Those two prophecies were written and told thousands of years ago, and they have come true. Israel was scattered throughout all the lands, but their name was not blotted out. Now let's look at some prophecies that are happening currently. Zechariah 12, 6, in that day, I will make the governors of Judah like a fire pan in the wood pile and like a fiery torch in the sheaves. They shall devour all the surrounding peoples on the right hand and on the left, but Jerusalem shall be inhabited again in her own place, Jerusalem. Now those things are taking place currently. Israel is surrounded by armies. They're constantly attacked and constantly at war, but they have one of the best armies and they're constantly fighting back on the left and on the right hand side. And they're like a fire amongst sheaves, having one of the better militaries in the world. And as well, Jerusalem has taken its place back in Jerusalem and that happened, of course, in the Six Day War in 1967. Jesus speaking in Luke 21, 24 says, and they will fall by the edge of the sword and be led away captive into all nations and Jerusalem will be trampled by Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. As we know, the Jewish people have been taken out of their nation, led to all different nations all throughout, just like one of the first prophecies, but Jerusalem is still trampled underfoot by people who are considered Gentiles. I mean, much of that land is in control by Muslims. I mean, the temple site and the original temple site of where the first and the second temple where it was, where Jesus even stood in and taught in, uh, is now controlled by Muslims. So that is the time of the Gentiles that will be fulfilled. And uh, we're coming to the end of that time now. And now we'll look at current prophecies, prophecies that will take place in, well, no one really knows for sure, but it seems like the not too distant future surrounding Israel, Jerusalem, and the Jewish people. And it's pretty clear that these are just directed exactly at the days that will be coming ahead. Deuteronomy 4, 30 through 31 says, when you are in distress and all these things come upon you in the latter days, when you turn to the Lord your God and obey his voice, for the Lord your God is a merciful God, he will not forsake you nor destroy you, nor forget the covenant of your fathers which he swore to you. The Jewish people, of course, many of them, especially the ones in Jerusalem and Israel, don't believe Jesus is the Messiah, but like that verse says, when these people will turn with their whole heart and when they see the fullness of the signs going on in the earth, God will have mercy on them when they finally turn to him, finally after, since the beginning of the world pretty much, you know, just these battles back and forth of not following and not following and seeing his ways and his truth, finally they will see and then the, the fulfillment of the times will come and the people in that land and uh, you know a majority of people on the earth will finally either be swept away forever, the lost, or the ones will finally be saved and they'll realize the truth that Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah. Zechariah 12.10 also confirms this saying, and I will pour on the house of David and on the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the spirit of grace and supplication. Then they will look on me whom they pierced. Yes, they will mourn for him as one mourns for his only son and grieve for him as one grieves for a firstborn. So here we see that in the last days when the Jewish people finally realize that Jesus Christ is the Messiah after the times of the Gentiles is fulfilled and all the different things, the abomination of desolation has taken place, they'll finally look and realize the one they pierce and they'll mourn for him as one mourns for the loss of an only son. Which leads lastly to the Messiah signs, the signs that who is the Messiah? There's clear identifying factors that we can look at in prophecy to see who the Messiah is and he can't fit outside of these parameters. So let's take a look at a couple of them. Jeremiah 23, five through six, the days are coming declares the Lord when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, a king who will reign wisely and do what is just and right in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved and Israel will live in safety. This is the name by which he will be called the Lord, our righteous savior. 
Jesus, of course, had to be born of the lineage of David. He comes from the lineage of David and sits on the throne of David, the righteous king of kings, not just an earthly king. So here's a proof. We don't know the lineage of David anymore. That's forever lost to history. So to look for a Messiah outside of the time of when we could prove the lineage of David doesn't make sense. So the Messiah had to have already come. And another verse just backing this up is Isaiah 11.1, 1, and it says, There shall come forth a rod from the stem of Jesse, David's dad, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. Both of these references in Jeremiah and Isaiah, the branch is Jesus. It's the Messiah. That's what they're talking about. Jesse's the father of David. So we have just this proof that the Messiah had to come from the lineage of David. And lastly, we have one of the greatest proofs ever of all time in Bible prophecy proving who the Messiah truly is. It's Jesus Christ. He had to come before the second temple was built. And this verse in Daniel, in Daniel 9, 25 through 26, just absolutely proves that beyond a shadow of a doubt that you can share for any Jewish person who just doesn't believe Jesus is the Messiah. Share this verse because it proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that the Messiah had to come before the second temple. And these verses say, know and understand this, from the time the word goes out to restore and rebuild Jerusalem until the anointed one, the ruler comes, there will be seven sevens and 62 sevens. It will be rebuilt with streets and a trench, but in times of trouble. After the 62 sevens, the anointed one will be put to death and will have nothing. The people of the ruler who will come will destroy the city and the sanctuary. The end will come like a flood. War will continue until the end, and desolations have been decreed. I mean, that is just such an amazingly shocking prophecy. It's just like proof of God, really. Uh, prophecy proves God. It really does. So it talks about the anointed one will come. He'll come before the second temple is, is destroyed. Then the second temple is destroyed, which it prophesies there, which of course no one knew that at the time. And it just talks about how then there'll be desolations until the end. And then leading after that into final end times prophecies, the abomination of desolation mentioned right after that. So the prophecy proves it. All these things prove it. I mean, prophecy really proves that God has been at work in the earth since the beginning of time. He told us things just like Jesus said, I tell you these things beforehand. So you're not like in a bad state of mind when they happen. So we just, all we need to do is look at these prophecies and see the truth is before us and it's just shocking and amazing to see so you know jesus is the messiah israel jerusalem and the jewish people have play a huge role in the end times and so keeping an eye on all the things taking place there will be a good way to gauge what's going on in the world and the timeline really and um, we even know that in the last last days jesus says that um, in luke 21 that jerusalem will be surrounded by armies and then <laughs> Revelation talks about the new temple coming down, the new Jerusalem coming down right there. I mean, just such an epicenter for Bible prophecy in the last days. So let me know what you think in the comments. The prophecy is amazing. What other ones are there in reference to Jerusalem and Israel or the Jewish people? So many, and um, these are just a few. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Jesus is the Messiah, the Christ. Go to him to be saved. He's the savior of the world. God bless.